Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I'm way over here at the Pokémon Dome. I'm making this part after part 86. I'm sliding this in after 24. Because there's something I didn't know that was over at the Pokémon Dome. And the Grandmasters have accumulated over here. <laughs> yeah, as I've been uh, rescuing them, they've been popping over here. And we are actually going to be dueling them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. With what deck? Well, it's gonna be this deck. I thought I would give this one a little bit of a rebuild as it was pretty versatile, so I thought that would be a pretty nice way to utilize the cards at this moment in time for the game, so let's go. <laughs> oh, if it is a mint, you have my gratitude for rescuing me from Team GR. Oh, ho, ho. because of your efforts, I can return to the Pokémon Dome. Since you came here all fired up, are you going to battle me? Not yet, I want to see your dialogue! <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I understand. Best of luck in your fight against Team JR. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh the same dialogue. Uh, oh, that's different. Oh, you want my legendary Pokémon card. It's not that easy. You must first defeat the four Grandmasters in the Final Cup. However, the cup isn't being held right now. But if you want to battle me, sure, I'll take you on. And now I'll say yes. You'll feel the fiery playstyle that has gained me minor notoriety. Six prize card should do. <laughs> let's go! I mean, let's go! <laughs> Grand Fire Decks! So these tables are used, contrary to what I thought in later parts. And I've also got to be careful not to spoil things in later parts for the most part. Uh, since he's using fire, I'm going to focus on the water side of things, but got to have some stuff on the bench after all, just in case of uh, issues. Oh, that Vulpix is, uh, that, that's not going to help her much. The thing about this Vulpix is it takes two energy cards to power up, and it's not gonna last too long. Yeah, let's just say it's not gonna last too long against Staryu's double damage. See the uh, Vulpix? Two for co yeah, it's gonna confuse me. Right? Mm hmm. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not that sorry, but still. Uh, you know what? I will put the other Staryu on the bench. I thought about saving that. Uh, just in case, but uh, nah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll plop it in play. It should be just fine because I can get that powered up as well for the double damage maestros on my side. Yeah, we're gonna energy removal that Rapidash right away. Um, should probably put that on Abra. I don't have another water energy for the other Staryu right now, so I might as well utilize my turns to the maximum. And she's gonna be, be gonna have to go for the stop now. Because she cannot do the agility, the agility can be a lot of trouble, because it can completely prevent damage on the next turn, so... Alright, Staryu, you're good to go. So, even if she decides to knock out my Staryu, which she probably will, I've got the other one as backup. And I highly recommend not attaching an energy to that Rapidash. <gasps> you did! Oh, you really... You're trying to go for the prevent everything on the next turn instead of... Oh... That's 50-50, and you could use that energy card somewhere else if this fails. If it gets tails and Oh, she actually got it, though. <laughs> Maybe the computers know when they're gonna get heads or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll put out Abra. But I don't think I'm gonna keep Abra out, actually. I think I'm gonna go plop out the Jigglypuff instead and go... F Wait, oh no, that's what I was gonna say. I can put it to sleep, but actually, well... Well, this is this. It, this, well, this won't do anything because agility is in effect. Like even if I got heads off that, or yeah, I guess, mm -hmm. it prevents all effects of attacks, including damage. But all I need is one tails, and I'll be able to uh, wipe out the Rapidash with Staryu. Uh, that special legendary Moltres there has the ability to pull up one to four fire energy cards from the deck and add them directly to her hand, which is a handy way of getting energy cards rapidly, as well as thinning the deck, so... That's it's a pretty powerful little card in a fire deck. Ooh, scoop up on the... Uh, oh, you're doing on the Moltres. I was gonna say you're doing on the Rapidash, maybe? Because the Rapidash is kinda... kinda in peril, and do you really need that much energy? Because I think if... <laughs> <laughs> like, what happens if I use Professor... I mean, I excuse me, Imposter Professor Oak. <laughs> well, you, you just go ahead and... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, best of luck. Yeah, I was bound to flip tails eventually, but it flipped tails 
quite early. So she gets two prize cards out of that, but then I just kind of counter with Staryu anyway, so... Uh, the Moltres does have no weakness, so I won't be able to double damage that Moltres, most likely, but... I will be able to put some pressure on that Moltres uh, before she gets it powered up. So hopefully we'll be able to get some, like, Professor Oak into energy removal or something like that, and just kind of nick away at the... Oh, she's not... I thought she was going to start powering up this Moltres for sure. Because it's got a dive bomb. It may do nothing, but yeah, it's still possible 3 for 70. Interesting. Interesting. So I'm going to go slap. <laughs> Just going to attack this Moltres for the maximum amount of damage that I can possibly do. And we shall see how it turns out. Mm hmm. Bill, nice. So she's not powering it up. Maybe she sees the star you as a threat. Possibly, maybe. Let's steal out there. I'll save the Professor Oak for now because I'm going to evolve. Actually, maybe I should just plop it in play right away. Because uh, I want to evolve Seal into Dugong, but I can't put it in yeah, the turn that it's put into play. So let's just slap for now. <laughs> I'm also tempted to maybe wait for a couple of water energy and just you know hand them the star you so I can get some paralysis going off that, but. I don't know, I think, I think it'll be just fine as is if I just Professor Oak that away, you know what I mean? Wait, actually, um, isn't the Star You, I mean, Star Me Retreat cost one? Yes, hmm. I could evolve it and then retreat it if need be, like if she decides to power up the Moltres. Nah, Professor Oak! <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get another Star Me somewhere along the line, because it's going to be a stall fest with that Magmar, level 31. Um, I don't have more... I got my other Professor Hulks, but I mean I don't have more basic Pokémon for that... Uh, uh, for that Wigglytuff. Well, I'm going to slap anyway. There's still two more turns for her to power up Moltres, so she might be able to get one Dive Bomb off of it, or maybe she's going to go for a Retreat. Uh, we shall see. If she does go for the Dive Bomb, that could be... Could be doomed for her, in all honesty. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the Slap. Because, yeah, she's just... She's basically attaching energy cards to Pokémon that probably will not be able to utilize them, so... Oh boy, she's going for it! I, re I wish you the best of luck. Ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that probably wasn't the wisest choice, because it was 50-50, but... Worked for the Rapidash, I guess, and she was like, hey, I'll try on the Moltres. Nope! <laughs> so the Moltres has been defeated by Slaps. <laughs> and so this Magmar is the thing that could be the biggest thing. We might go for the Smog. Oh no, it's not. Because I was going to say, Smog could potentially knock out Staryu quicker than the Smokescreen would. Uh, but she's just going to try and stall because of the Slappers. I thought, wait a second, what's, what's the retreat of one retreat? Really? What if I do this? Retreat to Jigglypuff, retreat back to Staryu, and then we use the water energy on Staryu for double damage. Uh, I might just super energy removal at Vulpix, by the way. I think I might just do that. Scare that off of uh, the Wigglytuff, because, it's, because both of them are one away in general. Uh, yeah, that's, I'd say that was a pretty effective move there. <laughs> that nullified the smoke screen, so I'm able to get the attack and guarantee without worry of a coin flip, because I did the switch. It only works on defending Pokémon if I switch to defending Pokémon. That effect is nullified, and I can do the same thing on the next turn if I get a water energy. Or I just Professor Oak for one. Ooh, that Mewtwo. Uh, maybe I should save that. And power up the Mewtwo, then. I guess maybe I can get, I was gonna say, yeah, maybe I could get heads anyway, which I did, and it's a knockout for the Magmar. Alright, so she's really gotta hope for that confusion, <laughs> confusion, that was perfect, perfect speaking on my part. And that's a no-go, so I'll be dishing out 40 damage, um, put that on the Mewtwo, and slap. Basically get the Mewtwo set up for the future, since I seem to be accumulating <laughs> psychic energies instead of the waters that I need for the double damage barrage, but eh, it's okay, as long as I'm still able to nick away at the damage. Um, 
Should I just go for the Wigglytuff and sleep? Probably. <laughs> There's a water, so I'll save that for the future. Uh, I'm gonna energy removal, the other Vulpix, of course. And... We shall wave! It's not at full power, because I don't have a full bench. I could get a full bench with Professor Oak, which I may just do as a surprise of her. Uh, to take that last prize card, but... Well, I guess you could switch, I suppose, but I got so much energy on things that I shouldn't have much issues. Oh, you didn't even... You didn't... You didn't make me switch. I see. She was, she was like, eh. Probably shouldn't even bother. What's the point? <laughs> Okay, so if I get any basic Pokémon, I win, because that'll power up through the wave by the 10 that I need, and there's my basic. Do I get anything else? I get another Wiggly. And I'll put that in play just for fun. Let's see what we get with the build, too. Uh, water, water... Eh, just do the wave. <laughs> I just, just needed that one basic anyway. It's kind of weird that I only got one basic out of nine cards. You know, the Professor Oak and Bill, but... It was enough, anyway. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's my loss. Assault booster pack! Let's see what we get. Ooh! Morphing Ditto! You can use this to change... Well, also remove all damage counters from it. You can remove, uh, you can replace it with a copy of a basic Pokémon card chosen at random from your deck, which is a pretty interesting card. Uh, this is what they used to replace Fossil Ditto. Uh, because Fossil Ditto was apparently very difficult to program in or something like that because of its ability of copying the opponent's uh, Pokémon exactly, so they decided to go with this. And it's kind of an interesting choice that they utilize this, because, you know, it just copies what you have in your deck as opposed to what the opponent has. And, yeah, it, it offers different kinds of plays than the other sort of Ditto. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Although I'll be covering these cards later on anyway, so maybe I shouldn't shouldn't dwell on these too much. So, ooh, ooh. So this won't be in the main save file, of course, because as I said, I had to slot this in. But that's a nice little Articuno to see there. I've got to say, <laughs> just gotta take a look at the prizes that I got for the heck of it. And Premier Booster Pack to boot! Oh! Raichu of this variety! Actually, I think you've seen this one before at this point in the game. Alright. Very clever fighting mint. You just may inherit the legendary Pokémon cards someday. I hope so. I hope so. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Jack is next. I mean, not, excuse me, Steve is... <laughs> I say Jack, Steve. Jack is on the right side of the table. Hey, man, thanks again for saving me on GR Island. I still can't get over how I lost the Team GR and got myself captured. Grandmasters are supposed to be tough, skilled adversaries. My pride as a revered Grandmaster is on a crumbling foundation. Hey, man, come and battle, come on and battle with me. No. Oh, no, don't be like that, man. It won't be my battle partner. How can I keep my skills sharp? Hey, man, do you well. Without the other Grandmasters, you're unable to hold the Final Cup. It's not a Final Cup battle, you can't win the cards of Legend. But, I think it's A-OK -okay to play with our Pokémon cards unofficially. Hey, man, come and, come and battle me! Alright, now I will. I'm fairly certain a standard battle has six prize cards. Mint, let's you and me battle! Legendary Fossil Deck! And his deck is hilarious. I <laughs> he uses the uh, Aerodactyl to prevent evolution, but the thing that's hilarious is his legendary Zapdos, which can hit anything on the field, including itself and the opponent's Pokémon and his own Pokémon. <laughs> so... Yeah! Anyway, my water Pokémon are probably at a disadvantage here since he's using Lightning, and he loves his Electabuzz, so I should probably lead with the Abra. That's the Electabuzz I was thinking of! <laughs> uh, put that on there. I got Kadabra right away, so that might be just fine. And Psyshock. I also got the Energy Removal to boot, so... I might actually build Professor Oak into another Psychic Energy, so... We shall see. Oh, he's doing it on Voltorb. Interesting. Maybe because I caused the paralysis this turn. But I wonder if I should hold on to the energy removal then. Hmm. Hmm. Well, in any case, I'm gonna plop that on there. And hope for heads. Thank you. 
And if I get Professor Oak into a uh, Psychic Energy, that's a pretty quick knockout for a very good basic Pokémon there. So, he's going for the Voltorb, so I'm gonna energy removal that for sure. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna set Voltorb back then. And... Uh, wait, actually, maybe I should put that in play, then Professor Oak, because, sure, I can't attack with the Dugong, but... Chances are I'll get energy in the future for the Dugong, and it'll take him a while to wipe out my Kadabra, so... Should be just fine. Super Psy... Oh, the knockout! Thank you, Math, for working on my side. I might actually be able to win this in. Just, uh... No, oh, there it is! Oh, never mind, I was gonna say, I might just be able to win this in, uh... uh the next couple of turns, but now that he's got the Zapdos, you'll be able to see its legendariness firsthand. This is the one that can attack anything on the field. See, with the Peel of Thunder, it does 30 damage to a Pokémon other than Zapdos chosen at random, including his own critters, so it might hit his own Voltorb. Let's see what it hits. Oh, it actually hit my Dugong. Oh, man! It actually worked for once. <laughs> well, hilariously, it has a tendency of just decimating itself with... Uh, I mean, excuse me, that's on his own side of the field, so... Yeah! Anyway, it, we're fine with that little nick on Dugong, anyway. We got the Super Psy to wipe out that Zapdos in two shots, and Voltorb in one shot. Um, even if this battle with Steve ends up being extra quick, don't you worry, I'll rebattle him later on in the walkthrough. I, I guarantee you that! <laughs> that's one spoiler I guess I could give you. <laughs> Uh, Super Psy. I'm gonna let him use the uh, Peel of Thunder there. I mean, excuse me, the uh, Big Thunder. Just to, just to see if he'll actually be able to uh, hit my, one of my Pokémon with it, or if, if he hits himself, that would be extra hilarious. Um, oh, okay. Wait, actually, no, I wouldn't have been able to prevent them anyway, because I used that Energy remo Removal already. That's okay. So, choose a Pokémon other than Zapdos. So, I guess I guess it can't hit himself. I was a little bit mistaken there. So, it is gonna hit one of mine, guaranteed. Uh, the Dugong, that's fine. I'm just gonna wipe out the Zapdos anyway. He doesn't have any other Pokémon in play, so... It was either at, uh, Kadabra is gonna knock out Zapdos, or Dugong is gonna knock out Zapdos based on how things are getting powered up and the like, so... Big whoop! <laughs> Super Psy for game, and let's see what his losing dialogue is like. <laughs> and you are a winner. You were great. <laughs> Assault booster pack. Hunter, ooh, the best version of Hunter. Well, one of the best versions. Uh, this pre can prevent all damage and effects, assuming the coin flips go as well. And when you combine that with the nightmare, yeah, 25% chance of the opponent from attacking. Pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> More boosters. They probably all give you three boosters, probably. Oh, this is the Bench Attack, uh, Giga Shock Raichu. Choose three of your opponent's po Bench Pokémon, then damage to each of them, plus 30 to the active Pokémon as well. No weakness or resistance for the Bench Pokémon. Um, Alright. Oh, two. <laughs> hmm, I'm the loser. I was defeated in battle. Mint, you'll return again, right? Yes, I will! <laughs> I'll make sure that I'm the winner of our next battle. Alright. Wait, wait, actually, one more thing. Are you well? Okay, so same dialogue. Just wanted to see if they might have another alternate dialogue path there. But anyway, Jack now! Well, well, if it isn't Mint, you have my heartfelt thanks for rescuing me from Team GR's clutches. There is surely no way I can repay you for such a kind-hearted favor. Team GR has not been entirely thwarted yet, however. Our leader, Rod, is still being held by the hooligans. Without him, we cannot be the four grandmasters of Pokémon card fame. I'm afraid with all, all four of us here, the final cup cannot be held to. We're still... It, wait, I've just realized something. The other ones mentioned that they can't hold the final cup because the other grandmasters aren't here. But there's only one that's missing. So saying masters is plural when there's only one missing is grammatically incorrect. But I guess that would be a little bit of extra detail. That's extra data for the game cart. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> We're still accepting individual challenges in the meantime, though. How about it? Would you like to challenge my gorgeous deck? No. I see. 
That's too bad. After all, you did rescue me. I wanted to see what kind of gorgeous deck you use. Okay, fine. You, you, you talked me into it. Oh my. If it isn't Mint, have you come to challenge me to a duel today? Until Rod returns, we cannot open the final cup, I'm afraid to say. If it's acceptable by you, however, I'll duel you with my gorgeous deck. Yes. Are you amenable to using six prize cards? Very good. Sure, sure. Water Legend deck. So it's water versus water, although I got a little bit of psychic and colorless to boot. Um. Now when he puts a legendary Articuno in play, it can cause paralysis to my active Pokémon. It's a 50-50 chance, but we shall see how that turns out. Ooh, chancy of this variety. Could go sleepy sleepies and double slappies, but it's got 100 HP, so that could take me a little while to knock out. Uh, I may just go straight into Professor Oak. Is there not really... well, maybe I should go power it up as if it's a Dugong and then Professor Oak. I got a nice amount of energy here, and I can super energy removal stuff. He might just go for the double slap, but I'm almost- ah! I'm, I'm betting that he will uh, go for the sings more than the double slaps as things go and progress. That was ineffective. So yeah, with the sing there, it's only going to have a 25% chance of actually stopping me from attacking, so... I got my dugong though, so <laughs> it's pretty nice to see. But yeah, because you see, you got the flip heads for the sing, and then I've got to flip uh, tails for me not to wake up, so it's a very, very inconsistent sing. It's not like the Jigglypuff Wigglytuff sings. <laughs> uh, Professor Oak's definitely going to bolster his resources there. If he puts the Articuno in play, which he probably will not, uh, if, even if he has it, because my seal isn't that big of a threat, it will be kind of kind of an issue, but we'll see. Um... Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Oh, that's, that's that article, that's right. I was gonna say, you put it in play earlier, like on the first turn? You're not supposed to do that. You gotta save the save the effect for when you drop it in play paralysis. Ooh, that Kingler can do a lot of damage. Uh, assuming the coin flips can uh, set it up quick enough, that is. Sing is a, still a no-go. Um, hmm. I don't wonder if I can... I can't, I can't really get, utilize the super energy removal to the max, can I? Uh, but I, I'll just hold off here. I don't think he'll be able to knock out Seal with 60 HP before I Professor Oak, so... Oh, his double slap can do 40 damage, at least. <laughs> I mean, there's always the chance of plus power, but yeah, that that that, 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 that might make, the, make me a little, little Professor Oak now. <laughs> uh, actually, wait a sec. Super energy removal first. And wipe out that on Chansey. And before I attach an energy, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna get a water energy. I'm gonna put that on uh, Dugong as well, because it'll be 50 damage, assuming I'm able to attack. To that 60 HP plus 10. Yeah, so, I mean, excuse me, 50 plus 10 to the 60 HP. That was perfect grammar on my part. But, <laughs> anyway, Professor Oak. Let's go and. See if we get ourselves. Ah, oh, I didn't get a water. Uh, most of the energy in the deck is water. Oh no! Well, it does throw me off a little bit, but mm, I tried my best with what I had. Uh, well, I'm gonna definitely put this in play, by the way. Uh, put this on the seal as well, in case of another possible Dugong power up if I get some more water, but. For now, yeah, I'm kind of stuck because of my guesstimation that I would get a water energy card, but you can't really blame me for that, because I was definitely playing the probabilities there, and the probabilities were in my favor, but just because they're in my favor doesn't mean they will happen, so I'm going to energy removal that, and oh, why'd I do that, and end the turn, I still cannot attack. So I'm just going to kind of kind of hold them down, basically, while, I'm, while I get something going here. Hopefully, maybe. And we shall wake up now. <laughs> now watch me get a water just because I woke up. Oh, Wigglytuff. Ooh, I'm putting that in play, just in case. Um, call it a turn. I woke up. But yeah, that was the, the rare 25% chance that would prevent me from attacking. And... That's one half of the battle there. <laughs> but if I 
wake up? Oh, I didn't, it's not a 25%. Ah, whatever. Uh, oh, there's the water, okay. Um, maybe I should hold that in my hand as a surprise, because he's running energy removal. Uh, well, maybe not, because if I get another energy, I want to just keep plopping the energy on stuff, so let's call it a turn. And I woke up. So, I wonder if he's going to go for that double slap. This oh, looks like he is. I don't know, that, that's kind of inconsistent attacks. I don't know if I'd be going for that with this chancy. I think I'd be going more for the stalls. Because, yeah, it's, it's going to average 20 and... Ooh, oh, Professor Oak, yes! So, Dugong is going in play. Uh, nothing else to play. I'm not going to use Switch, because I already have who I want out. Um... Hmm... He's not gonna accept that. Nah, never seems to. <laughs> I have uh, uh -huh. Okay, so definitely gonna get the other dugong going here in case this uh this fish that I have here goes belly up in case he gets two heads off the double slap. Unlikely, but you know it's possible. But I already got the other dugong, so we're good. That's why I said got to power up stuff as you go, just in case. <laughs> it's just. Playing those probabilities, and Dugong makes it another turn. If only, ah, I only had that plus power like I had, you know, earlier, but I wasn't able to attack with it, but now I got the second plus power. Well, well. <laughs> might as well, oops, might as well save it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. And Bill. Jinx, that Jinx, uh, will be able to knock out Dugong, but I'll just be able to retaliate with a very quick Aurora Beam from the other Dugong, and then just pretty much be able to sweep for the rest of the game, because he doesn't have that much setup in general, so... Yep, I'm gonna put this on Wigglytuff then. I should actually probably put, uh, the other Abra on the bench, just in case of the, uh, um... Uh, to do the wave in case I need the Wigglytuff, but oh, I forgot to show you the Kingler here. Saltwater, flip coin if I had searched your deck for the three water energy cards, and this is for the double edge claw. <laughs> but damage to it is double, so you could get double double, you know, weakness with the lightning, so, but we don't really have that here, but yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's really truly a double edge claw. So technically, if you think about it, that double edge claw is 2 for 80, if you can get the coin flip. Because you attach one to it, and then use the attack, which is like using the second water energy. But, you, you know, it actually uses up a little bit more energy to that, because it sucks them out of your deck as well, so... Oh man, my poor Duga! <laughs> I got energy removal. Um... Hmm... Maybe I should build. We're in good shape here, I would say. We don't have to worry about running out of cards. Put that on the bench for the wave. Um... Stun. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't have another double colorless, because that would uh, kind of throw a wrench into my dugong here. Okay. He's just going to use the water energy elsewhere, and he doesn't have another double colorless on hand. That's fine by me. And I wake up. <laughs> and <laughs> I put that on there. Energy removal. Probably the Kingler, just to make sure it's set back. And Aurora Beam. We just need one more Aurora Beam to knock out the Chansey, although he does run Scoop Up, I believe, so he might be able to recycle that Chansey. And... But he also would probably prefer using that on... Uh, Articuno for the sake of paralysis, you know, legendary Articuno. Uh, he hasn't really played that. Maybe he just hasn't gotten it, or he doesn't feel that it's the right time to play it or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put that on there and finish it off. So yeah, the uh, energy removal set me back a little bit, but that's the idea of energy removal after all. Just a mess it out a little bit there, and I didn't have energy removal to attack this Kingler anyway, so... Uh, or hit the scheme there with it anyway as a retaliation. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! He's got him! <laughs> uh... Well... Well... I should definitely get something else going here, but who should I get going? Maybe, potentially, a could hmm, say maybe a Kadabra, but... 
Because, yeah, this dugong kind of kind of in trouble unless I cause paralysis with the uh, ice beam, but I really don't want to risk that. I'd rather just the Aurora beam <laughs> than just finish it off with something else off on the side, because remember, it's going to be double damage after the uh, double-edged claw, so... Yeah, 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 you, you go ahead and do that, and I'll put out Wigglytuff. <laughs> oh, I got Star Me. Okay, so I got... That's, I can get that set up then, and we're going to do the wave to finish off Kingler. Remember, double damage, so instead of 40, it's 80. So, yep, 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 that wave is basically doomed to everything, <laughs> especially since nothing resists the wave. So, and the bubbles not happening here. Well, I mean, it did happen, but it didn't really do any damage happening there, and I'll just do the wave. No need to Professor Oak for bench Pokemon, as he doesn't have very high HP. And oh, maybe I should Professor. No, 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 I don't. I don't have the Professor Oak now because it's still two attacks, regardless of what I have. So I'll just save those for later and do the wave, just in case of a surprise. Like if I need to do extra damage to wipe him out quickly, and he's gonna be trying to flop for a Gyarados, or maybe not. <laughs> I thought he might possibly scoop up this Articuno, because he hasn't really played that, but nope. Nope, this looks like a game. In fact, it is game. <laughs> this is my last prize card. So I guess he just didn't have uh, what he needed to have, but oh, I assure you, you'll be able to see him play again later, <laughs> later in the walkthrough. So yeah, once again, bested my gorgeous deck. And, wait, once again, bested? Oh, that's right, because she beat him before in the first game. I mean, not in the, not in the first game, excuse me, in the, the game's storyline, and yeah, both Mint... Yeah, yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> both both main characters are a... Uh, uh, both main characters are a uh, Grandmaster beater, basically. And I just noticed this Charmander is uncommon. Interesting. Charmanders are typically on the common side, so... I, that's why I took a peek at this a minute ago, because it was like, this is in the uncommon sort. Because see, it goes it goes from rare, uncommon, and, and the rest are common into, yeah, see what I mean? So I was like, wait, why is that Charmander over there? And I was like, oh, yeah, I just never noticed it was uncommon. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway. <laughs> Next booster pack. Mock. Ooh. Ooh. Ignore all Pokemon powers up then Toxic Gas is very, very competitive card right here. This card is even played in non-grass decks just to lock down stuff like Dark Vile Plume, Blastoise, and all sorts of other powerful Pokemon powers, and yeah, anyway. <laughs> so it's not so much about the sludge here, which can cause poison, that's a little bit a little bit on the pricey side. It's more for the toxic gas to stop the other Pokemon powers. I'll get more into that later on in the walkthrough too. <laughs> and that's that for that booster pack. Legends, let's see what we get. Even though we're not keeping any of the cards technically. Ooh, another Dragonair. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. The power seems to be great indeed. Thank you, thank you. Yep, same dialogue. Okay, so I want to see really quick. Uh, can't hold a... Uh, I swear it's here. Uh, cup is a meat color. No, I just want to see the... Oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. Uh, without... Yeah, without the other Grandmasters! So yeah, this is... Uh, maybe they should have said something like, without every Grandmaster. You know, to imply that it's one or more that are missing. Because remember, it's possible that Jack couldn't be here at this moment in time because you unlock him, Courtney, Steve, Jack. So, this could be plural or singular, depending on the situation, or at least it should be. So I think, uh, yeah, grammatically, it should be without uh, all the Grandmasters or something like that. You know, you know, anything that implies that it could be one or more rather than just a plural s You get what I mean. <laughs> anyway, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I... I do believe it will be <laughs> me wiping out the Psychic Fortress, or Psychic Stronghold, excuse me. <laughs>